Hey, I'm Nikki Tanner, and this is my Refuse to Lose story. I know a lot of you guys don't recognize me, but I work over at West Franklin Baptist Church as their youth director. Um, and I just want to share a couple things with you guys. So, growing up, I um, went to church almost every Sunday. My mom was um, very adamant about that. Going into teenage years, uh, I did venture off and go to another church where I spent all my youth years. Um, going on a mission trip up to Washington, um, always being the head of anything, anything that was needed, I was there and a part of. But the older I got, the more I seen that there was other avenues in life. Um, as soon as I turned 16, um, got my driver's license, that's where a lot of you start to fall off. Um, you get that, you get your little sense of freedom, and that's what happened when I used to bust down the door going almost every week, started going to where I would only go maybe once a week instead of every Sunday, Sunday night, and Wednesday night. Started living with the world and for the world. Uh, wanted to go out and hang on my friends. Not really doing anything scandalous or anything like drugs or alcohol or anything like that. Just not living for the Lord, not being the example that He had called me to be. Uh, just really living for Nikki, nobody else. Number one priority was Nikki. Um, and that slowly died off realizing that um, that's not what God had called me to be. He had called me for so much more and so, so much more as far as the purpose that he had planned for me. Turning 23, May of 2006, um, he broke my heart to that. Realized that I needed to stop living for the world, stop drinking, stop partying, um, doing things of the world. Um, and that's when I started going over to West Franklin Baptist Church. Um, my best friend and his wife were the pastor um, at that church, Stephen and Kristen Blanton. Um, great examples of people to look up to and to really value. Knowing them and seeing them and seeing the example, that's what I wanted to be. I, I wanted to have Christ in my life. I wanted Him to be first. I wanted to show other people that um, He was the prime, prime source in my life. Um, one of the things eight and a half years ago, um, never thought I would start doing, would be working with young people. I started off as a GA teacher. Um, very fun to work with that group. Um, they really taught me a lot about patience. Um, but it was something that God was already preparing me for later on down the road. I started getting youth in our church. Um, and uh, so that took me from being a GA teacher into a Sunday school teacher for the youth. Um, which just um, just blossomed. Uh, started getting to know the kids. Starting uh, started getting to see them and their life with Christ, and helping them uh, grow in Him. Seeing them how He viewed them, not how Nikki viewed him or how the world viewed them, because a lot of people uh, don't value you, don't see them as a part of God's plan, but they are. Um, I was thankful for the people that poured into my life when I was a youth. Um, so taking that and um, really uh, taking what he was teaching me to pour into them um, was a blessing, uh, which really opened my eyes to how you treat people, how you um, value people as God values them. Becoming the youth director over there and um, being equipped for the things that he had for us over at West Franklin. Uh, really pushed me into mission work. God allowed me the opportunity to get on a plane for the first time and to travel uh, to Haiti and to actually see what mission work was all about. To see what he meant when he said, go and feed my sheep. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. And it goes on, it says, I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Uh, God's Word tells us to go out into the nations and to um, share the gospel and to share how much He loves them, how much He values them. So when we, uh, we pour into other people, when we love them, when they're unlovable. Um, and there's days when my youth are unlovable, but that's okay because there's days when Nikki's unlovable, but yet... Um, we still have that love that we can pour out into each other and to grow from each other and to understand. Um, and I'm thankful that our Lord sees us that way, that there's nothing that I could ever do or they could ever do or any of my friends and family could ever do for Him to stop loving us. John 3.16.
uh, for God so loved the world that he sent his only son. He gave us his very best. He um, could have given us half-hearted things. No, he didn't. He gave us the best thing that he had, and that was his son, to die on the cross for us. So why would we not pour out the love that he gave to us on other people? Tanner and this is my refuse to lose story.